Are you ready to embark on a journey back to the summer of 1959? A time when the world was undergoing profound changes, and the silver screen was graced by a movie that would leave an indelible mark on the hearts of its viewers. A Summer Place, a classic film directed by Delmer Daves, brings to life a tale of love, societal norms, and the enduring power of emotions. But did you know that this movie holds some lesser-known facts and anecdotes that add a fascinating layer to its legacy? While you may have your own cherished memories and personal experiences tied to this film, we invite you to explore the hidden facets of a summer place. Whether it's the behind-the-scenes stories or the impact it had on the lives of others, there's more to discover. Can you share a personal story of how this movie has inspired or impacted your life? Or are there any lesser-known facts or anecdotes about this movie that fascinate you? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Join us in unraveling the captivating history of a summer place and the moments it has etched into the lives of many. So, let's dive into the intriguing details of this timeless classic. A house where Ken and Sylvia live toward the end of the film is an actual private residence built by Frank Lloyd Wright in 1948. It is called the Clinton Walker House, still stands today on Scenic Road in Carmel by the Sea, and is a prime feature in local tours. This iconic house adds a unique touch to the movie, a summer place, and is a significant part of its visual appeal. The Clinton Walker House's architectural significance and historical presence make it a standout element in the film's setting. Frank Lloyd Wright's design and its real-world existence have contributed to the enduring charm of a summer place. This fact offers a fascinating insight into the film's connection to architectural history and the use of real, remarkable locations in the movies. The house's inclusion in the movie not only enhances the visual aesthetics, but also adds depth to the story's backdrop. It's a testament to the attention to detail and the effort put into selecting the right locations for the film. The choice of such a distinguished structure certainly left a lasting impact on the viewers. This connection between cinematic storytelling and real-world architecture is a unique aspect of a summer place and sets it apart from other films of its time. The Clinton Walker House's role in the movie showcases how a single location can leave a lasting impression on the audience, making a summer place a film worth remembering for both its narrative and its iconic setting. The movie A Summer Place from 1959, set on an island off Maine, was actually filmed in California, near Carmel. Troy Donohue, at the height of his fame, was frequently mobbed, and the little town was overrun with young star-struck girls. As Max Steiner's famous score plays, Sandra details Troy Donohue the plot of King Kong, which was scored by Max Steiner. This film is known for its picturesque location and the fan frenzy it generated during its production. It's interesting how a movie set in one place can be filmed in another, yet still capture the essence of its intended setting. A summer place managed to do just that, all while showcasing the talents of its cast and the iconic Max Steiner's musical composition. Article The 1959 movie A Summer Place features Richard Egan and Troy Donahue, who also appeared together in Voice in the Mirror in 1958. The film showcases a U.S. Coast Guard motor lifeboat, CG36387, which is one of 218 36-feet boats built at the U.S. CG yard at Curtis Bay, Maryland, from 1929 to 1987. Interestingly, one of these boats, the CG36500, has become a museum ship in Orleans, Massachusetts, as of 2017. Despite the movie's main setting, the beautiful house by the shore is actually located on Lighthouse Avenue in Pacific Grove, California, several blocks from the ocean. This classic film weaves a story of love, passion, and societal norms, with these facts adding intriguing details to its history. The 1959 movie A Summer Place is notably included among the American Film Institute's 2005 list of 250 movies nominated for F.I.'s 100 Years of Film Scores. The film, directed by Delmer Daves, features a memorable score that contributed to its lasting recognition in the world of cinema. Starring actors like Troy Donahue and Dorothy McGuire, the movie's themes of love and societal norms continue to resonate with audiences. The story, originally spanning two decades in the novel, is condensed into a single year in the film, making it an engaging exploration of romantic relationships. This classic film is a testament to the power of its music 
and its timeless portrayal of love and life, making it a significant piece of cinematic history. The role of Molly in the 1959 movie A Summer Place was initially offered to Natalie Wood, but she declined the part, a decision she later came to regret. Instead, the role went to actress Sandra Dee. The movie, directed by Delmer Daves, revolves around a romantic drama and societal norms of the time. It also highlights the consequences of forbidden love and relationships during that era. Wood's decision not to take the role opened the door for Sandra Dee who became a notable figure in the film industry during the 1950s and 1960s. This casting choice had a significant impact on the film and its place in the annals of cinematic history. The film A Summer Place is set against the backdrop of a picturesque summer resort. It stars Richard Egan and Dorothy McGuire as a married couple, Ken and Sylvia, who manage the resort. Their lives are intertwined with their children, Johnny and Molly, played by Troy Donahue and Sandra Dee, respectively. The story unfolds as Johnny and Molly fall in love, despite the social constraints and expectations of their parents' generation. The fact that Natalie Wood turned down the role of Molly sheds light on the casting decisions in the film industry during that period. It also serves as a reminder of the impact of such decisions on the careers of actors and the success of the films in which they participate. In this case, Sandra Dee's portrayal of Molly added a distinctive element to a summer place and contributed to the movie's enduring popularity. The film also touches on the cost of long-distance telephone calls during the late 1950s, as evidenced by a scene in which an operator requests an additional $2 for a three-minute continuation of a call. This serves as a small but authentic detail that reflects the era's communication norms, where long-distance calls were a luxury that came at a significant expense. In summary, A Summer Place is not just a romantic drama but also a snapshot of the societal norms and communication of the late 1950s. Natalie Wood's decision to decline the role of Molly and the portrayal of the cost of long-distance calls in the film provide interesting insights into the movie's production and its reflection of the time. These elements, combined with the film's timeless themes, have contributed to its enduring appeal. As we draw the curtains on our journey through the timeless classic, A Summer Place, I encourage you to take a moment to reflect on the personal connection this cinematic gem has forged within you. This 1959 masterpiece, crafted with elegance and grace, has a unique way of etching itself into our hearts and memories, much like the character's footprints left in the sands of Pine Island. Perhaps you found solace in the melodious waves that accompanied the romance of Molly and Johnny, or maybe you were drawn to the poignant lessons learned by their children, exploring the complexities of love and relationships. The evocative performances and iconic soundtrack of A Summer Place have resonated with generations, creating a tapestry of nostalgia and emotional resonance. We invite you to share your favorite memories, the moments that tugged at your heartstrings, and the lessons that you've carried forward from this film. Was it the sweeping vistas of the beach, the exquisite performances, or the unforgettable music that left an indelible mark on your cinematic journey? Your reflections are a testament to the enduring power of storytelling. Thank you for your time and interest in exploring the magic of a summer place with us. Your unique perspective enriches the tapestry of this timeless classic. We look forward to reading your thoughts and memories about this iconic film. Until we meet again, keep the love and nostalgia for great cinema alive. And remember, it's never truly goodbye to a beautiful story like this one. This is the moment we part ways, but the memories and connections remain as we continue our love affair with the silver screen. Farewell, and until next time, keep those cherished moments close to your heart. Warmest regards.